You mean she's still playing those games? What do you mean? Cheesy, man. I don't know why. I go to the museum. 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 I go to the This is a nonsense case. Come on. Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. That bitch is lying. Bitch be lying. Oh, we saw the lie. Will you pose I'm on your side? It's not good police could go to like I'm on your side, nigga. <laughs>
because some of these uh, things that we talked about today were very fresh. So if you can cut that up and put it out there and tell people this is a new thing that we're doing, this is what we're doing, uh, this, this is where we're going. This is the beginning of a new era. It's high, it's high time to toe ma mediocre kwa to to maliza mediocrity kwa industry. Unajua mediocrity imekuwa juu sana. And it has reached a point that watu wanaingilia industry yetu wanasema am grow, amfanyi nini, amwendi wapi. Na for the longest time tulikuwa tunangojea maybe kuna sponsors watatokea na nini. Unaona? But ni vizuri mtu akiwa akitaka ku sponsor akitaka kufanya nini, but before mtu wa sponsor it's good tunajaribu tu kuonesha it's good mtu aendelee. Unaona kama nyinyi sasa for example mmekuja tu hapa mme by the santeni sana unajua walikuwa wanasema online is the future it's not the future ndio iko sasa hizi unaona so hata usipopata sponsor usipopata nini bado utakuja ufanye nini ufanye interview so hiyo ndio notion ambayo tunataka kuweka kuwakili ya watu kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengine wengi bado ambao anajiuliza nitaanza aje kitu e, nitangojea nani wakati mtu ambao unangojea sometimes pia ana issue na wewe anaona unaweza fanya kitu lakini hakuji kukusaidia so tunataka tu kuonesha watu unaweza fanya kivi yako dunia sasa hizi imefika mahali ya uhitaji mtu atoke huko hakuji aku 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 push you can do it on your own si mnaona nyinyi kama nyinyi online mmebadilishia mainstream kimichezo mchezo tu mm. eh sasa hizi news zote tunapata online through TV na muona silver kido yuko hapa mm. naona glad online media na wengine wengi so hiyo ndio spirit unaona amejaona mainstream hapa lakini habari itaenda town si ndio habari itaenda town mbaya na bado yeah. town zingine bado tutaenda mm. ndio tumeanza tukifanya hapa tunaifanya locally yeah. tukifanya Nigeria tunaifanya international yeah. Basically, because for the longest time to make a kind of stereotype, kind of stand up comedy. Mm. And if you've seen today, you know what we comedian, Suko Inje, person like DJ CT, Leona Court, you listen to the other Lazima so, lazima to grow. Yeah, so maana tumeileta huko so tukasema <laughs> watu waone side nyingine. Yeah, so leo leo basically tumeweza tukuona hiyo design side ya ujama na side ya huu si ati ni ku prank kwa sake time and there are so many other people out here wenye tunajua wenye we know we know them from other side we are calling upon them. We are not only saying that not unless unaanza mm. you can be anywhere. Si bro umetupata hiyo chance na ndio this is what pia tume come tu hapa ku support pia. So no, popote no. penye huko kama na kejo uko nayo tusonge. And also, also also in terms of charges kuna venye alitoa posta akasema charges ndio hizi unajua kibali nipigia tu just one call akaniambia Nick would you like to be part of this nikasema why not me i'm good in terms of comedy kwa sababu pia mimi nimeshaanza kufanya comedy out there i've been building myself in terms of stand up comedy Kenya wananijua kama star, uh, prankster na pia ile left right left right chill show but now uh, kibyo katali niuliza akaniambia that Uh, we are doing this show nikiwa na poster na shindua eh hey, hii charge sorta utaweza nimeshanga kuona watu close to 1000 people uh, to this place uh, no comedy show yenye uh, imekuwa headlined na Kenyans iko to this stature nobody hakuna uh, show yote imefanyika so i'm really grateful na pia mimi mwenyewe niko humbled zaidi kukuwa part of this movement uh, and apparently venye kibya amesema we are moving now from city to city Second is uh, Eldoret, third is Kitale. So we are moving from city to city. Then after Apo Dubai umesema? No, no uh, Doha Qatar. Doha. Yes, Then Doha, after Apo pia Kibya amesema atatunulia kila mtu S560. Ama what are you? Yaani mzuri. Kitu Big Fish anasema ama ndugu yangu Kibe ama Paul wa Kimani ni kwamba hii ni revolution. Na revolution ni kujangi rahisi. Eh, si kila mtu anazaliwa mwana harakati tunataje mwana harakati na kizungu si kila mtu ni activist sasa hii ni revolution ya kuonesha kwa hii mchezo inaweza enda bila magate keepers hii mchezo inaweza enda bila mkono ya mtu fulani mm -hmm. na youth mwingine yoyote huko nje anaweza amka leo naeke posters naeke vitu na wakenya watamsupport one thing napenda na wakenya unajua gate keepers wanatuoneshanga we wakenya wako na sisi but ni uongo wakenya wako na sisi Umeona hata ndugu yetu akiwa kule US alikuwa anatupa cheche. Anatupa cheche na wakenya walisimama naye kabisa. Mpaka market keepers wakaangusha YouTube yake. 
lakini alirudi na ingine na baada anaendelea so hii ni revolution kwa comedy industry it's, a, it's the beginning of a new era there we go na bado tunataka kuona talent zingine nyingi wewe ambao uko kapenguria wewe ambao uko bura wewe ambao uko mwatate wewe ambao uko murmalanga lego wewe ambao uko mumia spale garbatula wewe ambao uko garbatula wewe ambao uko isiolo hii ni wakati wako kuna talent nyingi sana eh no i do not advocate for that no uh, yeah una do stand up yangu kutoka sijafanya stand up for 14 years the last time nilifanya stand up ilikuwa 2010 lakini wasee wananijua kama Ro and uncut unaona show zangu zote ziko 25 plus so parental guidance ni kwa mzazi mwenye anaacha mtu mwenye ako below 25 kukamkwa show yangu yeye anafanya but mimi nafanya ro and ro, ro, ro comedy basically style yangu kama tu vile kibi amesema <coughs> ama free spirit nafanya kitu logical humor na autobiographical humor so kama mimi naita kwa raia so kitu yote na happen kwa raia ndaiongea iwe sexual political social anything because stand up is a is a form of expression uh kwa watu wengi sana uh, especially my entertainers wale the, the other styles of comedy wako poa wanafanya stand up because and then bado pia ni a very powerful form of expression to the society because see ni social leaders uh, whatever tunasema whatever we anasema whatever we anasema whatever, it 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 a create trend so uh not a create trend ya being raw because to your minimum zali wa Nairobi na niliambua anything ina happen lazima niionge anyone any, any kid mwenye mzali wa Nairobi akona hiyo characteristic ataongea anything yenye iko iko mbele yake so mimi na kugatu hivyo anything I can joke about sex I can joke about everything you know mm. ma comedy yangu inakonga hivyo kutoka way back kutoka kitambo so inakuga strictly 25 years and above strictly 25 years and above kama wewe ni mzazi tafadhali Eh kuna ma comedian wale wanafanya comedy ya watu watoto wadogo. So kama wewe ni mzazi jua kuchagulia mtoto wako eh. but basically kuna kuna ages hata kwa TV kuna 14, kuna 16, kuna 18 na zote zinakonga na age. So wale watu wananipenda wanajua vile muongea. na wale watu wenye wameanza kunijua itabidi wamezoea jua mu waga naongea tu hivyo. She's one who arrested him. You mean she's still playing those games? What am I cheesy am I? Yeye ndio baya ya kuwa uko na dem mzee kuliko always in control. Mtu kama saka bahanye sasa hii, haezi ambia dem yake kaa hapa chini wacha upuzi. This is a nonsense case. Come on. Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. Allah, that bitch is lying. Bitch be lying or oh, we saw the lie. Will pose I'm on your side. Sita kuja polisi kukutoa lakini I'm on your side nigga. <laughs> I'm on your side, man. In Kibe, after yeah. you did an interview with Eva, mm. watu walikuwa na complain sana why you did with her and uh, haujafanya na Trevor pale kwa Kenya Online Media. Uh. Mbona huku support boy child na wewe ni mimi sina feelings. Yeah. Mimi nasema Trevor alikuwa anilipa, yako nilipa. So why would I give an interview for free? Do I look stupid? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Trevor yako nili <laughs> no, 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 but I, uh, uh, Trevor didn't ask for an interview. But Munga Eve asked for an interview. You, when Eve came and she asked for an interview, I was like, hey. Why this is Wakimani podcast. Wakimani podcast, and as you, when, when am I going on Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Wakimani podcast. She didn't have any punitics. punitics and Karohombaya, Karoho Black. Ah, Z. It's a bendy vibe, yeah, okay, Jana. Okay, Jana, I'm going to find out you are punitics, Actually, in yeah. an interview with Mungaiva, mm. 
Ngaiva, the words that were said pale and Eve said that she, she noticed Trevor's immaturity long time ago. Now people were like, uh, you guys I'm were not, too I'm, much. I'm not, I'm not discussing those two small human beings. Can't you see my age? Simon of our country discuss she has a Tesla. We discuss Trevor and na munga hivi who are those people come on be serious tukimaliza where why did you choose all these unajua committees ni wengi sana Kenya but you mm. work with me kuka work na shiti hawa wapo i actually chose to work with people i have a personal relationship with okay so i have interviewed him i've been with him for a, a minute me and him have been planning the longest time and when i met him i was like hey mr kibe yeah unajua ndo kibe pia really yeah Imagine that. I'm a peer to Kichangio. Where is Sapere? Ah, where is Sapere down? Ah, Sapere man. Yeah, so I I I I chose the people that I have a personal relationship with and I know people who are going to go all out when it comes to stand up comedy. So that's what's up. Na pia tukichangia hiyo issue. Eh the main reason to why pia tunafanya hii kitu ni ku vile tumesema ni kuonesha ni kuonesha wasanii wengine huko nje that hakuna point unafaa kupigwa na depression ama unafaa kwa sababu umefungiwa unaona ati kwa sababu eh, maybe kuna watu wataki kupatia biashara maybe yani sisi tunaenda nayo hivyo vile iko hakuna point mtu anafaa kujiua ama ku give up kwa sababu yeah. umefungiwa so eh, kitu kubwa pia ni tuna ni apart from kufanya kama comedy tunafundisha pia Uh, okay. Okay. okay, and also, uh, mm -hmm. Changye, the last one. Uh, in terms of dating, your story and your kibe, I address here. My personal experience, let's advise what to, I'm a special one, Aume. Don't date below 30. Get money first, then start getting these bitches. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. I do. Uh, I support. So I do. But it, but it makes a lot of sense. It really yeah. makes a lot of sense yeah, that why should you date somebody? You know, if you're dating somebody, you are taking a responsibility. As a when you go with you, you have 5K or 10K, you have to pay for your expense. You have to pay for your expense. So, honestly speaking, you have to see that you have to pay above your age. You just don't date if you don't have a fucking job. If you have to pay for your age, you have to pay for your age. You have to pay for your age. Um, I'm, I'm a citizen of the world. When you're a journalist, you can travel anywhere. Okay. You guys don't know that. You know that. My journalist who can't get respected. Mtu to akibali na sema I'm a journalist. Oh, makarao na kuwacha. So you guys need to travel. So um, I am here for now. I don't know what the future holds, but I am very optimistic. Okay, and uh, this is the next move for me. The Africa is still hot. We are relaunching Africa in the next two months. We are creating a, a, a better and a bigger platform. So you'll see that happening. And you'll see a lot of the things that I'm doing. So uh, just chill. Take it easy. You don't comment Mahali. You were deported. 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 You were Why is this a story? Why are you asking me silly questions, Trudy? God damn. I go where I want and I come back when I want to come. God damn it. Yeah. I don't want to hear your question. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kibe. Thank you.